Welcome back to 2A Wolf. This is expensive. Welcome back to 2A Wolf, uh, round three on adhesives. And I cut up some test panels, these are even smaller. Cutting up some test panels and I got uh, Gorilla Heavy Duty, because it did say glues to rubber, so this is like $10 a tube. And I got, also went ahead and got liquid nails, I know. And this one says fuse it on it. Um, I think it was like six and a half bucks, but um, it also says rubber. So we're gonna give these a shot, so let's check it out. Let's come back in 24 hours. We'll try to tear it apart and cross our fingers, we'll have a winner. Well, it's time to check. It's been 24, 24 hours. I don't know, it's been a long time, maybe 30 hours. But anyways, it's time to check and see how the liquid nail fuse it and the Gorilla Glue stuff works. All right, so this is the fuse. Oh, it's almost like a dry erase board. Okay, here we go. That sticks fairly well. I got to pull pretty good. That That's not bad, but it's not stick stick. That's not bad. Like, sheer wise. It's not bad, but I can pull it straight off. Not bad, but you can see how smooth it turned out. All right, what about the wood? Oh, ho, ho. all right, that works pretty good. Uh, what about the this stuff? Um. Might end up using this fuse it. Jesus. Oh. Okay. Well, it pulled off a little bit of each. Fuse it works pretty good. I wish it would have stuck a little better, but I'm wondering if maybe that I scuff up this TPO that it would actually stick better. Okay. What do we got? I got high hopes for this Gorilla stuff because it was $10 a tube. Uh, it's coming off. No, that's coming off too easy. What about the... Uh. You know what? It almost looks identical. That's interesting. It's almost identical. That did almost work identical. So it looks like
and get that apart. So those two are almost identical. One's 650 a tube, and the other one is um, hmm. One's 650 a tube, and the other one was ten dollars. That Gorilla Glue stuff was about ten bucks, and it did just it did almost identical. Interesting. The fuse it almost feels like it's a uh, rubber. Actually, you know what? It feels almost identical. Huh. That feels almost identical. I think somebody may be copying off of each other. But I'm still having a problem with this TPO. But I'm wondering. I don't remember which one's gray. I think the fuse it's gray. I don't recall. But I'm wondering if I scuff this up, if it'll stick better to that. Okay, I'm going with one of these two, but I'm gonna, matter of fact, I'll scuff them both up. Um, I'll scuff them both up and try it again with uh, both of them. I think I might be on to something. All right, let's need to scuff it up with something. Try to scuff it up with 60, uh, 60 grit sandpaper, what do you think? Okay. Brush that off. Some coworkers of mine uh, suggested about a, a stuff just for TPO, and I'm trying to avoid of doing two different things. So, you know, Katie said that either she got she knows of some stuff that'll definitely work for TPO, but I'm trying to, and I explained to them today actually that I'm trying to get one thing for all four sub, substrates. So, anyways, so we're real close. Um, I'm really surprised that that fuse it did work as well as it did. So we're gonna give this a shot and we'll come back and check it. Oh, oh that, feels, that feels pretty good. Hey, you know what? I think we got a winner. So what's this? This is the gray stuff. Still comes off, but not as easy. So I think, so I like that. Uh, the gray, what was the gray? So the gray is the fuse it. The gray is the, the fuse, liquid nail fuse it. And this is the Gorilla, and I have a sneaky suspicion it should be almost identical because... Oh, wait a second. Ah, I don't know. That came off pretty easy. So scuffing it up on the Gorilla Glue didn't change anything. But scuffing it up on... Scuffing it up on the... The fuse it stuff seems to be do the trick. That's that's on there. That's on there pretty good. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner. We're going to use the liquid nail fuse it that bonds to bonds to everything. Um, it seems like it bonds pretty good or halfway decent to the. To that TPO rubber that I'm going to put on the outside, it seems like it bonds to that pretty good. If I if I scuff it up a little bit, it gives it a little more bite. Um, I can still pull it off, but it is definitely harder. And then plus, like I said, it's going to have the aluminum channels on it and the plating on the corners and stuff. But it doesn't seem like it's going to fall off anytime soon. So, all right, that's what we're going to do. So the next time. Um, Next time I get on here, I'm going to be doing big full panels and we'll get started. 
I'm actually kind of excited about getting one full panel done and getting it set on the truck. That way we can get the uni strut cut and get moving forward on it. So anyways, see you next time on 2A Wolf. Thanks for sticking around and learning with me. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks again. Bye.